Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for March. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of March. This is being recorded in February, but it is for March, so I'd ask that you uh, watch this in March. This is kind of like a preview, perhaps. Maybe happening now, but it, you know, watch this reading in March, okay? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. If this one comes out reverse, we're not keeping it. This is an overall energy. We're not doing reversals with these two decks, only this one. Um, I'm just not going to go through the cards and fix them. You know, that's why. So it's just the way it is. Um... Keep in mind that if you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. You don't need a tarot reading. What do we got for Libra for March? Things are rough. Things have been heavy. You may feel like giving up. Don't give up. Happiness is coming. Emotional fulfillment is coming. It is. Love yourself and everything else will fall into place. Things are going to get better. The difficulty that you have been through is going to dissipate. It is. Happiness is going to come back. You probably have a new, um, you do have a new beginning here, okay? You got a new beginning. Something, something is going to change real fast, okay? You may have somebody new that's going to come into your life. Two aces. One on the top, one on the bottom. You have a new beginning here. A new start. Maybe you just got to take a new approach. Either way, you got something good coming. You do got something good coming. So don't give up. Don't give up. Maybe you just need to relight that fire within yourself. What do we have for Libra? There is a lot of potential here. There's a potential for emotional fulfillment. And there's a potential for a, a new passion to start, okay? A new passionate beginning. So you definitely have potential here. You just got to create it. You know, you got to create your own future, right? Have compassion. Have compassion for yourself. Well, anyway, Libra. Self-love. <laughs> this is heart chakra. Fourth chakra. Archangel Raphael. Heal yourself. Love yourself. This is self-love. It is. It is. I love myself. When you love yourself fully, that's when this is going to happen. This is, this is healing. This is heart chakra healing self-love. Remember to appreciate yourself and you deserve to be appreciated as well. But you have to appreciate yourself. You got to love yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to pay attention to your thoughts. Really, really, really pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts you know, really define who you are. 11, that equals 11. 1, 1. I mean, we've got a lot of 1s here, okay? Really pay attention to your thoughts at this time. Maybe, maybe it's time to wake up. I mean, 1s are a wake-up call. 
Maybe it's time, and, and ones are also a very fast moving energy. Maybe it's time to really get moving. Get moving in your new direction. You gotta take a new approach though. I do see a new approach here. Maybe it starts with loving yourself. This is self love, it really is. Libra. What do we have for Libra? New beginning. We do have a new beginning coming. We do. Oh my goodness. But it's... It may be delayed. Maybe your expectations have been dashed. Maybe you don't believe. Maybe you're sick of waiting. Maybe you're waiting for something that is unrealistic. Ooh. Yikes. Perhaps you are... I'm not going to say anything yet. Oh, there you are. Wow, are you showing up for your reading or what? I can't make that up, can I? You guys got to take your power back. You got to bring balance back to your life. And you need to make that final decision to cut out what no longer serves you. You need to stop looking back. And somebody keeps looking back. And somebody is wasting their time looking back. You know, you need to make that decision to cut out what doesn't serve you. You need to take the power back in your own hands. You know, some of you just need to focus on your emotions. You need to focus on your thoughts. You need to change your thoughts. There's a lot of heaviness here. It's like you guys are... Really, really letting something, you're letting something that wasted your time hold you back. I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, yikes. Wonderful. So it looks like you guys are going to have some sort of rude awakening, or maybe you already have. This is a rude awakening. Something is, is going to crash. Something Somebody could be getting thrown out. It's like the top is going to be lifted off and, and shit's going to start crumbling. Something is happening. Something is going to happen that is going to change your path, okay? It's going to change your path. This is a fated change. Something is going to happen that is going to probably help you to move forward absolutely oh my god do you guys you guys have a fated change of course there's no doubt about it okay destined a destined change of course here this is this is like the universe saying all right it's time for your reward it's time for you to move on to the next phase it's time for you to complete that chapter in your life it's time for you to you know head to your next destination it's karma it's destiny good things are on the way we're going to clear out what no longer serves you because you deserve something better this really is a lucky break and you may not see it as a lucky break because you know when things come crumbling down it's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. So you may be faced with an uncomfortable situation that leads you to a better place. It's destiny. We have a destined change, of course, here because it's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. Okay? This is definitely karma as well. You're going to get what you deserve. You are. You're going to get some sort of reward for having to deal with this conflict, whatever it is. I think that you have been dealing with some conflict. You may have been dealing with a person that has um, been stepping on your toes. I'm not sure what that is. And now you're about to take your power back. I'm not sure how who that is, but... I feel as though things are about to change for the better. And I, I can see that. Things are... Remember I said I started this out without any cards. Don't give up. 
something is going to change for the better, but you may not know what it is. You may ex think that you know what it is. Okay, you may you may have this thought that, oh, I know exactly what this is. This is unexpected. No, I don't think you do know what this is, okay? I don't. This is a this is a fated change, of course, that you probably think you know what it is, but you don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, I don't know where that's coming from, but you don't know what it is. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You do. You think you know what this is. It's, it's like you got this all figured out, right? You think you know what this is, but you don't know, okay? So I'm not saying that your intuition isn't usually right because it is. But in this case, for some reason, you know, they talk to me. For some reason, this is meant to be unexpected because the the the, the way that people change... The way that people really, really change is when they have a rude awakening. When it's like a boom. It's like a, it's something that you didn't expect. I mean, it's a shock. Okay? So, be prepared to be shocked. And in, in, in a good way, even though it may not feel good at the moment. Okay? This, this shock that is going to happen is going to bring you to a better place. Okay? And it's not something that you can predict. Okay, it's not something that you can predict because you have to, it's that fight or flight kind of energy. They want you to be on your toes. I mean, it's funny that I step it on your toes. It's funny that I said that. You're going to have to deal with this without preparation. You know what I'm saying? I know that's hard to explain, but... Whatever is happening, there's a purpose, there's a reason for it. It's going to bring you something better. It's a, it's really a blessing in disguise, even though you may not see it as a blessing in disguise. Wow. This is um, unrealistic and somebody has been holding on to an unrealistic situation that has been dissatisfying and they deserve a lot more and I feel like they've been definitely wasting their try time waiting for something to come back or grow that isn't going to grow and it's, it's time for you to stop playing games and to stop focusing on an opportunity that isn't solid, that isn't stable, that isn't going to grow, that doesn't have any follow through. It's like somebody has been waiting for somebody to do the right thing and this person is not going to do the right thing. This person is not doesn't have integrity. This person is not going to follow through. Whoever you're waiting for could be a family member, could be a sibling, could be a partner. It's like you're waiting, un and it's unrealistic, you're waiting for somebody to come around and change their viewpoint and to, you know, come back and fix something. They're not going to fix it. You're wasting your time. And it feels like this is all happening. Something is breaking down. It's all happening because you deserve something better. So you do have something better that is coming. And it's going to make you really happy, but I think that you may not want to believe it. You can see the blindfold is on. You may not want to see it. You know, you don't want to see this happening. And you probably expect, there's that dashed expectations here, right here. You expect something else and you're going to get something that you don't expect, okay? You don't expect. This is going to lead you towards a better suited situation, something that is better suited for you, even though you probably don't want to believe that, but that is the case, okay? You are going to be headed in a new direction, um, and you're going to need to stay focused, all right? Um, you're going to need to really think positive, let go of your negative thoughts, um, Something is about to burst into your world that you don't expect, okay? Just just trust me on this. It's like there's going to be a, a new path, okay? A new beginning here. We do. We have a new beginning here. And, it, and it's hard to explain, but there's going to be some sort of fated change that is going to complete something in your life. In which you have probably been going back and forth on. You've probably been holding on, you know, to, 
you know, not wanting to let go of something. But I think this, this tower moment, this root awakening is going to happen that is going to really give you that push in the new direction. It's not what you expect. I'm telling you that one more time. So, because a lot of you are thinking that you know what this is and it's going to go this way. No, it's not. You can't predict this. This is unpredictable. This is unpredictable. It is un this is unpredictable even though you think that you you know. You know. No. Mm -mm. Whatever this is, it's going to lead bring you towards happiness. It is going to bring you towards happiness. You haven't been getting what you deserve. You've been somebody's been hanging on to a one-sided situation where there's no reciprocation, there's no equal give and take. You know, there's and it's time to reevaluate. And maybe you have been reluctant to really let go and make that final decision. And it's time. It's time to complete this chapter. I mean, that that wheel of fortune is a, is a, is a completion that needs to happen. And I think that you know you're probably going to receive a message or communication from somebody that. forces you to move in a new direction it's like a it is it's like a outside force and i'm sorry to say that you can't control it it's out of your control and i think it's because you haven't been getting what you deserve and the universe sees that oh god the six of cups it's gonna a lot of memories are gonna resurface. Some of you have been hanging on to somebody from your past, and that is the truth. There's there's definitely a lot of memories that are gonna be on the table here that are gonna be resurfacing. I think that somebody is going to well, something is going to change, obviously, with the Tower and Wheel of Fortune, and it does, it does involve somebody from your past. So whether this is this has to do with children, or it has to do with when you were younger, or it has to do with somebody that you have held on to from the past, there's a change coming. There is definitely a change coming, and it's because there's something something is unrealistic. Something is. I mean, that Seven of Pentacles is unrealistic. Um, mm, giving up, giving up, no more, can't put in any more effort here. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to change what is meant to be. You given up. Somebody is definitely given up. Giving up the fight. Absolutely. I mean, I can't make this shit up. Can't do it no more. No more. I don't have any more left to give. And I think that the the there's there's some sort of event that is going to happen, whether it's just a message. That you receive or you see something online observation something is going to help you or there's this is like this could be big it could be big all of a sudden there's this crash there's this upheaval there's this uh devastation that forces you something is going to force you to let go of an unrealistic situation, whether you like it or not, okay? And it's not something that you, it's out of your control. It is out of your control. This is all happening because you have something better. You have a passionate new road that is opening in front of you. You do. Whew. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna lead to happiness. It really is. But before you get to the happiness, you're gonna have to heal from this situation. Whatever it is. Emperor. Could be dealing with uh, Aries. This is a father. This is a husband. This is, could be anybody. It doesn't have to be an Aries. This is a, this is a very prominent man. 
that is in control. This man is in control. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Now, this could, if you are the male watching this, this is you. This is you taking control of a situation. You taking control. For the Libra woman that is watching this, that is thinking that this is... Okay? For the Libra woman, Libra woman, Libra woman, thinking that that this is her man, her man that from the past that is going to take control and he's going to come apologize, the answer is no, that is not the case. This right here is a man that is taking control of his life. He knows what his future holds. He knows what's going on. He's very structured and he's taking, he's going the road that he wants to go. He's in control. The masculine is in control here. And he's given up. This man is giving up. Taking back his power, he is. Going after what he deserves. So we have a masculine here that is going after what he deserves. Happiness, bliss. And he's going to get it. So if you're the Libra male here, I see that you are probably going to be the one taking on this energy of taking back control of your life. If you are the Libra woman watching this, I feel like you are probably... You're not in control. I feel like he is. I do feel like... Well, this is somebody is standing in their power. But this is the sword of truth, accepting the truth. But this is not knowing. I mean, this is like you think you know, but you don't know. Reluctant to move on. Not mastering your emotions. Oh, man. The chariot reverse. Stuck. Oh, God. You know, I really feel like we have a Libra woman here that is stuck. She is stuck. She's refusing to transition. She's refusing to move on. Thinking that she's in control. But she's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. I feel like the man is in control here and he is giving up and he is taking the control in his hands and going after what he deserves because he feels like he deserves more than this. So, you know, that's the way I feel. I'm not going to change it to, to appease because that is not who I am. I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely not mastering their emotions. They're refusing. This is a woman. I think it's the woman that is refusing to, you know, see things clearly. She's not seeing things clearly. She's not. She's not seeing things clearly at all, even though she thinks that she is. Um, and she's probably bitter. She's probably resentful. She's probably upset that she's not getting what she wants. And she's reluctant to let go and to actually move on when, you know, There's no victory in success there. It doesn't lead to victory in success. I'm sorry. And she has to really accept. That is the sword of truth. Accept the truth. And I feel like the truth is about to be delivered. It's probably going to be delivered harshly. Okay. That this man is, has or is moving on completely. Somebody has been in denial. Refusing to see the truth, avoiding the truth, and now it's time to make that painful decision to accept the truth of whatever this is. Somebody has absolutely been avoiding the truth of a situation when the truth is there's an unstable, unrealistic situation that has been held on to for too long. And it's time to love yourself enough to take back control and move on. So I feel like the universe, which is the tower and that wheel of fortune, is saying, you know what? It's time. It's time to go get what you deserve. And you're going to get what you deserve. You're going to find happiness again. It's coming. It's coming. But 
before you find it, there is going to be some sort of upheaval that comes in to clear out this heavy weight that you have held on to. Something is coming to clear out. It is. So be prepared for some sort of message or actual devastation of some sort. I'm sorry, but you know, where the top comes off, the lid comes off and the truth comes out and you can't accept it. I mean, you can't, you have to accept it. You can't control it because I feel like we have a man here that is in complete control of this situation and the universe is in control as well. Whatever is happening is bringing you to a better place. This is, you, you could call this a lucky break. Even though you probably don't feel like it's a lucky, lucky break, it is a lucky break. Yeah, You guys have a, a new beginning on the horizon where you are going to start to feel alive again. But before you get there, there's a breakdown coming. And it ain't, it ain't probably going to feel good. And I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that this is all peaches and cream because it isn't. Um, there's a healing period. Okay. There is a healing period. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's all that I have. I don't feel like I need to go any further other than be prepared. Be prepared for a, a change of direction that you probably cannot predict. It's going to change your life for the better. And you're not even going to see it coming. What? You are not going to see it coming. I'm sorry. You're not. You may think that you can predict it. You can't. You can't. So anyway, whatever this is, whatever this is, it's going to lead you to a better place. It is. It's meant to happen at this time. This is a destined change, of course. This something has to break down. It has to. It's been false. That's a false foundation. Somebody has been wasting their time hanging on to a false foundation. The universe is like, no. No, you deserve more. You deserve it. You deserve something better. So we're going we're gonna to completely remove this for you. It's out of your control. So yeah, I mean, that's what I have. Let's get one of these for the heck of it for Libra. What do we got? One of these for Libra. Heading, heading towards happiness. You really are headed towards happiness. But before you get there, there's some sort of... Fated change that's going to happen. Something's going to happen out of the blue that you cannot predict. That changes your course. It's going to clear out. It's going to clear out something that was unrealistic. It really is. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So, that's what I have. Be prepared for a change of course. For the better. Good luck.